This tutorial discusses the surgical case record from the surgeon's point of view. Once a surgeon entered the case using bookie case, which is in gray color, the multi blue color surgeon view comes up. This allows the surgeon to optionally add and also to view information that was not on the original bookie case. This includes information that he or she puts in himself or information that the booker or the booker biller puts in. Now, if you notice, it's the same Bob sample here. That's all the same. Medical record number could be social security number. And we have various things. Now, what happens here is it is possible that the surgical booker will put a surgery date or time in actual date and time. So we'll leave that empty for right now in this tutorial. And it's still currently not booked. The surgeon can go in and update things and request various things like type and cross units, cell saver, FFP, if he or she would like to do that, okay? Additionally, someone in the staff can actually upload pre-op images, all right? Now, this may be considered a somewhat manual function, but it's a great backup because when you go to a hospital, you're not part of their PAC system, having the ability to load one of your own electronic medical records images into a cloud database allows you to transport your images with you on your own cloud database because you're not always connected to the hospital. You could also make some pre-op comments such as uh, the patient has cardiac disease and a nuclear stress test ordered. If you want, you can put that. Also, your surgical booker may have these particular things checked in the events. So we can just leave these checked ourselves because you as a surgeon won't necessarily do this. And if you want, you could add have all your own type of medical summary of special diseases that you know you want to be triggered on that the patient has. This is all optional and we'll be able to, you'll be able to view this wherever you are remotely. So it's just a way of summarizing the case for you, okay? And that is the first part of how you can use it in the office. And you can save that, and we're still in the pre-op surgery mode. And I think that explains the next step that you can do.